Just one month was enough for the stock market to go from breaking record highs to move down to recession territory. More and more people are talking about a global recession. If that was to come, would you know how to protect your finances? Things are most surely about to get worse in the next weeks to come. As more and more businesses suffer and panic is on the rise, the market will react accordingly. This video is all about explaining the reasons behind this market crash, what can we expect from now on and how can we protect ourselves and our wallet. So stay tuned and make sure to watch till end, because useful data is being presented here. Also click the like button and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Stocks took their steepest losses since the 1987 market crash on Monday as the Dow Jones Industrial Average plunged almost 3,000 points, marking the second worst day in its history. The Dow plummeted by 2,997 points Monday February 16, for a loss of 12.9%, the steepest drop by points and its second steepest drop by percentage in the index's history. The S&P 500 and Nasdaq Composite plunged about 12% and 12.3%, respectively. That is because people are worried about quarantine and businesses losing their money or even worse, being shut down. Also, people are not spending money, which is bad for businesses. If people don't spend money, companies have smaller profits and that means they have less money to invest, hire employees. Now, if a business is hit by recession, they might have to start giving up on some employees and may find difficult to pay off debt as well. It's a vicious circle that just keeps rolling the market down the hill. With airplanes stuck on the ground, people are not traveling as much, which means they don't spend as much money. Hotels, restaurants and tourism as a whole has to suffer. People spend more time at home, so manufacturing slows down, that leads to companies not doing so well. They lose money, so their value goes down as well. And, you guessed it, nobody likes to invest money in companies that are struggling. That is what we are seeing on the stock market these days. Investors are worried and panicked which means that they are selling stocks and pulling their money out of the economy. At this point the Fed is cutting interest rates and pumping money into the economy. Yet, the market still keeps crashing, which means the value of paper money decreases. If this keeps up, we might get into the so-called hyperinflation. Now this is a really bad scenario, because money almost becomes worthless. There's a great example to this. In 1919 it costed 117 German marks to buy one ounce of gold. A few years later for one ounce you would have to pay 87 trillion marks due to hyperinflation. That is why, during a market crash it is important to own tangible assets, like real estate or precious metals, that have real value. But before we get to protecting your finances, a few thoughts are worth mentioning. On March 3 the Federal Reserve cut rates, which is the first time since 2008 to cut interest rates by half a percent. This move tries to make borrowing easier for businesses, so it's easier for them to stay alive. A few days ago the Fed made another half percent cut, which brings us closer to what we call negative interest rates, something we have never seen in the history of the US economy. This is another dangerous thing, that the economy might have to face. The first to feel the impact of this new illness were airlines cruise lines, restaurants, hotels, bars, sports, tourism in general and manufacturers are expected to be hit as well. Big companies like Nike and Apple couldn't manufacture anything because factories had to be closed. Now, the problem is that financial institutions are bound to feel the crash as well, because if businesses stop making money, they're not going to have money to pay back their loans and people are not going to turn to loans to go buy a new house or a new car, for example. Now, let's see how you can protect your finances and what could be good investments at this point. If history is an indicator for the future, some people are going to come out of this very rich because over the long run the market always tends to recover. You know the saying, be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful. At this point, it seems things are going to get worse, so it might be a good idea to hold still, but you don't want to get stuck in this fear and miss out a great chance to make some money. But first of all, make sure to keep a big emergency fund on the side. This should be enough to cover expenses for at least 6 months, in the event the prices come crumbling down. You should have it saved up at all times in a high interest savings account or CD or anything else that's easily accessible if needed. Having money is going to be crucial during these times, first of all for covering needs and second, for investing when stocks fall to low prices. In every market crash, there are three types of people. 1. The ones who lose everything. 2. The ones who just watch it happen and wish they did something different. 3. The ones that come out rich. Of course, everyone would choose the third option. 
But before you invest, you need to understand how the stock market works. This is the place where people can buy a portion of companies like Apple, Amazon, Disney, Coca-Cola or Wizz Air. You can also buy hard assets like gold, for example. The stock market, as every other market works on supply and demand. When there are more buyers than sellers the price of a stock or a company goes up, but when you have more sellers than buyers the price of the stock or the company goes down. This depends on whether a company does well, makes profit or not, because everyone would like to own a business that does well. But when people become scared, they do not want to invest in a company, especially if they feel, that it is not going to make profit. This is exactly the situation here, if airplanes are not flying and people are not traveling, it is obvious that airline companies are not going to make profit, but lose money. People then sell these stocks, prices go down and the company loses value. This is called panic selling. But, as history has shown us multiple times, the market will go back up eventually. It is advised that before it returns to a positive trend you buy cheap, so that later, when the stock's value goes up, you will come out in great profit. Nobody can really predict the market's recovery. At this point things are probably gonna get worse before they get better. Regardless of this, there are still at least three kinds of investment to consider. 1. Investing in companies that are so-called safe. Even after a crisis you will drink coffee, eat McDonald's and use energy. These companies are more likely to rise in value over time. 2. Index funds, which are basically a group of stocks, so if a company, out of 100 for example goes bankrupt, you will not lose all of your money. 3. Hard assets. Now these can be real estate or precious metals. In times of trouble, like the market crashing and money losing its value, gold is considered a safe haven for investor. Now, it doesn't have to be 100% of a portfolio, because diversifying is important, but you should have a little bit of these tangible investments. I will cover investing in gold in another video. But remember, in a worst case scenario, creating more income this way means you have something tangible, that you can pay debt off with, or invest it in other things that will turn out profitable for owning them. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.